family welcome this is Regina and this was not the video that I had planned for today but I got tagged by one of my favorite youtubers life is all about pivoting so I'm pivoting because this is confessions of a perfume collector addict you decide today is gonna be a little different I'm just gonna answer the 12 questions give you some more insight into my own personal addiction to perfume if you will and please leave your comments tell me if you know any of the perfumes i'm going to talk about if you've had any of the experiences i have not had some of the experiences that poor carmen did let's start first what is your cheapest perfume and my cheapest perfume is a is a perfume that i bought in dubai it came out to be less than five dollars it may have been 475 499 somewhere in there and it's called washa washa i know it is, but it is the best spring, summer floral. It is just fantastic. $4.99. My most expensive, I just purchased in Paris over New Year's, which is I bought one of the Guerlain x -Straits, And I believe it comes out to, I don't know, I'll have to put, I'll put it in the screen. I don't remember. I, I know people are saying it's like $6.50 US, but I'm not really sure. Plus, I... I'll put it in the, I'll put it up on the screen. All right. But that is my most expensive to date. Honestly, I'm not sure I would go above and beyond that because, um, there's a point at which I'm not willing to pay a mortgage for a bottle of scented water, honestly. So not that anybody who is spending more than that, I'm not judging. I'm just saying that for me, my mortgage is, you know, less than a thousand dollars and I just don't see it. Anyway, how many full-size bottles, one ounce or bigger? But probably uh, between 600 and 650 bottles. And it's an assortment. If you've seen my closet, any of my other videos, I have Middle Eastern, I have designer, I have niche. And they discontinued that fragrance, of course. <sighs> All right, number five, which is interesting. Do you wear perfume for cuddling time? Well, no, because I don't cuddle. <laughs> I don't have a significant other, so there is no cuddling going on right now. So that's a no, but I do wear my fragrances to bed, and I tend to wear some of the lighter, fruitier ones just because I like smelling like, you know, raspberries or apples. I just love that. About how many sprays do you spray? Ooh, I spray a lot because I don't find perfumes last on me. I don't tend to, similar to what Carmen said in her video, I don't tend to spray here on my skin. I do spray here on my shirt as I'm going to leave the house. That way I get wafts as it comes up. But I tend to spray lower body, thighs, stomach area, back, and arms. And how many sprays? It just depends on the fragrance. But probably um, anywhere from 10 to 12. And then once I, and that's before I'm dressed on top of my, my lotion. And when I'm ready to leave the house, I will then do maybe a quick five or six on my clothes and that's it. I don't know if that's overspraying because I have to be honest, unlike back in the day when I used to wear perfume, I don't find when I take my clothes off that most of these scents are even in my clothes. Don't know what's happened. I just don't, but so that's how many, I guess, how many I spray. I guess I'm in the world of oversprayer and I don't wear beast modes, apparently. Oh, I already entered number seven, which is where all do you spray perfume? And I told you, except I'm now going to get a TMI because I tend to, if I'm using a scented oil, I will put it on the inside of my thighs. And I'll, and because the scented oil is where I tend to put on my pulse points. Why? Because your body heat will push out the fragrance for me anyway so if i really want my fragrances to last i'll use the oils i will put them after i've sprayed my body i will then put dots here 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 so my wrist my inner elbow um, behind my kneecap my inner thighs and um my belly button sometimes this depends belly button not really i don't really think about that as much but and then my ankles so my pulse points on each side of my body is where I'll put an oil or if it's a beast mode fragrance, which obviously I just said I don't tend to wear. Most of, most of the ones are not beast modes to me. I will do that same thing. 
So that's where I spray it. Number eight, this is my personal favorite. Do you buy backups? I have two types of backups and I'm not gonna lie, I have two types. One is, yes, I buy backups of my all time favorites that I think I would want forever and ever and ever. And then I have the backups that are not meant to be backups because I forgot I bought the perfume. <laughs> I'm not really sure I call that a backup because in some cases I didn't like the original and now I got two. But I do buy backups, especially I have um, Ferragamo's C Fiori and Ferragamo's um, Perlet, which I believe are both discontinued. I have backups of those because I absolutely love those and I love laying those with some of my other fragrances. I have backups of that. I have backups of Zara's Rich, Warm, and Addictive fragrance and Mercedes Benz Black. I back up of those. I have other backups, but those are the ones that for the winter I have, oh, I have backups of Merchant of Venice Tonka. But then that's like one ounce, two ounces, whatever it is, is $40. And that just goes in my purse. And that just really does hold a scent for me. So I do have backups. Number nine, do you show your collections to, your collection to friends and family? Yes, because, I don't have to answer to anybody about what I spend or what I got. I don't have to answer to anybody. I, matter of fact, my niece was here in September and went through my closet. I think she took like 30 fragrances that I was not loving. I liked, but I didn't love. She loved them, took them. Awesome. Well, she innocently told her mother when her mother asked where she got all the perfumes from, she said, oh, from Aunt Gina. Well, got back to my mother, who then calls me and says, I heard you have 600 perfumes. Girl, you're not gonna be able to use all those before you die, send me some. True. So, saw my niece for New Year's, sent her a dozen fragrances to give to her grandmother. And my mother, of course, only wanted four of them and gave away the other eight. But that's how it goes around. And so yes, I do show it, but I don't live in a place where my lots of family and live and I don't tend to have friends come over all the time so if people came in I was getting dressed they're more than welcome to come in to my closet if I'm getting dressed but also people would see my fragrance if they're watching any of my videos because that is my fragrance closet all right number 10 is really an NA <clears throat> excuse me does your partner spouse know how much you spend obviously there isn't one so no 11 is interesting. Do you plan on collecting more or do you see yourself quitting anytime soon? I don't see myself quitting. What I see is as I go through this declutter process, I will refine my collection. I will whittle it down until I have 50 or so fragrances that for me are things that I would want to be able to wear. My nose has evolved in the last year since I started collecting fragrances. And now I, before I was a fruity, gourmand, vanilla, light, but also before I lived in California and the weather was very different. So maybe that had something to do with my nose, but definitely I wanted a fruity vanilla. And a little floral maybe, but primarily fruity vanillas. Now in the last year, since I am on the East Coast again, and we do have all four seasons, now I find myself, I am in love with Tonka, I'm in love with Amber. I'm still not a patchouli fan, just depends. I am learning to appreciate the different types of musk. Whereas before I would have been like, no patchouli, no musk, that stuff is just nasty. But now I'm, I'm learning nuances and my nose is more appreciative. I never would have thought that I'd be a fan of a unisex or primarily male fragrance, but yet I cannot get enough of Mercedes-Benz Black, and I think that is marketed to men. Cannot get enough of it. Um, Zara Tobacco, the Rich Warm Addictive, uh, unisex, but maybe primarily marketed to men. It, it just shocks me. So um, I don't see myself quitting. Obviously, I'm slowing down. I am refining and whittling down the collection, but if there is something that comes out that I absolutely want, then I'm sure I'll end up replacing it. Number 12, another interesting question. Where do you see your collection in 20 years? Okay, now, probably in the hands of my niece <laughs> because I might either be in the ground or in a home because in 20 years, I'm gonna be real old. So 
However, <clears throat> if I am independent, active, healthy, you know, let's let's say in 20 years I'm still of the same more or less as I am today, I still see myself having lots of fragrances, probably maybe close to 100, I'm not really sure, but somewhere in there. And that's because I love choice. I love being able to change out fragrances according to my mood. I can spray twice a day if I feel like. I love having spring scents, summer scents, winter fall. I love having just so much choice. I suspect um, there will be fewer niche and fewer. I think what's going to happen is I'm going to do the bell curve, right? Where I'll have fewer cheap wines, fewer niche wines. And I'll be sitting here in the more median or medium price designer and niche. Again, I just don't see why I'd want to spend more than my mortgage on scented water. As much as I like to smell good, to be quite honest with you, you know, Irish Spring smells good too. If you're going to be talking soap, get some Jergens lotion or some EOS cashmere vanilla lotion. I could be good to go. And those are inexpensive. This is, this has been fun. This has been something to think about. I am obviously a collector, possibly a hoard. No, not a hoarder. I'm more of an addict, if anything. Although I've done really well. I have not bought anything since I came back from France for New Year's. And everything got, got delivered. I had already bought before I left. I just had it delayed until I came back. So I'm doing great. I'm now going to go back to my declutter series because I am ready to get some things off my floor. And at the rate I'm going... By the time I get through these winter fall fragrances, I'll be changing it out for spring and I'll be repeating all over again. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Appreciate you being here as always. Carmen, thank you for the questions. I, I love when you want to dig deep, so please keep doing it. And I'm tagging absolutely no one, but I'm glad I got to participate. We'll see everybody next time. Thanks for being here.